This new member benefit is brought to you by the International Geosynthetic Society and the IGS Sustainability Committee. Hi, I'm Boyd Ramsey, one of the co-chairs of the IGS Sustainability Committee, along with Preston Kendall of Axter. Many of the benefits of geosynthetics are well known within our industry and our contribution to a sustainable planet and the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals has been written about extensively by the IGS and our members, both corporate and individual. In fact, the IGS sustainability case studies list the UN SDGs by number for each publication. During the last year, the IGS Sustainability Committee has been working to upgrade the IGS's content and capabilities for documenting, evaluating, comparing, and demonstrating the sustainability benefits of geosynthetics. Much like the engineering community uses software programs with geosynthetics such as MSEW, SlopeW, UTexas, or Stable, the IGS has licensed with one of the largest providers of sustainability calculation software, OneClick LCA. The calculation of sustainable and economic benefits has become much more sophisticated in recent years, as environmental impact statements are increasingly required with commercial bids for public infrastructure projects. Drawing on input from manufacturers' environmental product declarations, EPDs, this software will calculate and compare CO2 emissions, as well as electric, water, and other resource usage through all phases of material usage, cradle to grave, including possible reuse at end of life. The IGS hired the support of teams at Universidad Politecnica de Catalonia Barcelona and George Mason University. Using published literature, they created templates within the one-click software system, addressing applications such as landfill drainage, wall and road construction, filtration, and others. Eight templates are initially available for IGS members to use as starting points. These templates compare traditional construction methods with those using geosynthetics. Geosynthetics nearly always have large sustainability benefits, lower CO2 emissions, and benefits in other areas. Embodied carbon and emissions are benchmarked both overall and by specific project segment, as recommended by EN 15804. A1, raw material supply, through to C4, end of use disposal operations. Each of the templates offers significant detail and control of many specific engineering values that can be customized for specific projects, shipping distance, lifespan estimates, construction activities, and many others. This system offers a complex and complete analysis tool, and it requires some training to correctly operate the software system. In each of the templates created, the sustainability benefits of geosynthetics can easily be seen. In case seven, two designs are compared for a water canal, a geosynthetic line canal versus a reinforced concrete design. This analysis demonstrates that the use of geosynthetics cuts carbon emissions to one quarter that of the concrete methodology. Further detail can be obtained with analysis of all lifestyle sages. A wide range of variables can be controlled, including service life, transportation distance, local energy data, and end-of-life considerations. Let's take a look at case two for roadway stabilization. In this template, four designs are compared. Conventional construction, two differing geosynthetic solutions, and a lime stabilization option. Similar to case seven, the same data exists. Here I mention the input from su material suppliers EPDs. Some generic data is available, but manufacturer-specific EPDs can be used, such as for the second case, selecting a NAWI EPD. For each material used, quantities, distances, waste percentages, percentage of the material recyclable at the end of use can be set by the user 
controlled, and compared. Case 3 addresses retaining walls and compares gravity walls versus walls and slopes constructed with geosynthetics. The benefits of geosynthetics are clear in this set of examples. Five differing geosynthetic designs are compared with a traditional gravity wall. The benefits in CO2 reduction by using the geosynthetic are clear. This specific example here used an EPD published by Tensar for a geogrid material. Various other manufacturers may find that developing new EPDs and adding them to software like OneClick LCA is a worthwhile activity. I would specifically point out the addition of geosynthetics as a category, like plywood or concrete, etc. Establishing a geosynthetic category within the OneClick LCA system was not an original goal of the project, but a very pleasing outcome. These templates are currently available within OneClick LCA, and the IGS holds a multi-user license. You should look for upcoming press releases and instructions on how to access this new member benefit for your interest and the promotion of the sustainability benefits of geosynthetics for your company and our industry. We look forward to adding additional information and providing templates demonstrating geosynthetic benefits with other calculator systems. Thank you for your time, your contributions to the industry, and your stewardship of our planet. Again, my name is Boyd Ramsey. Please feel free to reach out to myself, Preston Kendall, my co-chair, or other members of the Sustainability Committee.